I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Janis Kudla. I'm Jesper De Jong. I'm Henry Laksa. I am Francisco Serundolo. And you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we are. It's Roland Garros, the first match we're going to be covering. There has been a lot going on today, but we thought, what better person to start off our coverage at Roland Garros than the young gun himself, Carlos Alcaraz. He is here. He said he thinks he can win Roland Garros this year. He's beaten Nadal. He's beaten Djokovic. And he's beaten Sissipas many, many times. Can he get past Londero today, though? Not the easiest in first round matches, but I think he'll be all right. I mean, I don't think it's that bad at all. Londero, I believe, is he not a lucky loser into the draw? Alcaraz, I think he should have far too much for him. I mean, he hardly loses. The only guy he seems to really lose to is like it's one of the real big players, uh, but yet has just come off the back of beating the Dow and Djokovic. And we're talking about Alcaraz as a serious contender to win Roland Garros this year. Uh, apologies, we didn't bring you any matches earlier on. Uh, Game to Love had a little lay-in, uh, but we are back now. Yeah, it was like a small... It, had to, it was sort of weighing things up as well. Like, do it, do we cover matches? I've been trying to work on a bit of a promo intro yeah. for, for the, some of the uh, streams, so... Just uh, popped out a news video anyway. Obviously, the big shock of the day, Ons Jabur going out uh, in the first round to Magna Lynette. And yeah, so we covered that one on the news. And at any time that we do miss the match, we will always make sure we give yep. you a, a, an update via the news. So I'm shocked from that one, though, mate, I have to yep. say. Yeah, no, listen, Ons Jabur, I had her going all the way to the final. So <laughs> her going out has not done my brackets any favours. Uh, maybe have to say goodbye to that five hundred dollars already on the women's. Um, Sad. I didn't expect it at all because I know she's been playing very well. But listen, it can happen. You know, you just, this is Grand Slam tennis. All of these players in this draw have the ability to beat you because they're all the, the very best, the world's yep. best. And um, I thought there's been some fantastic matches today. Probably my pick of the bunch may surprise you. Actually, it was Farias. Felix. Yeah, yeah. I'm because such... Verilas was exposing the Felix backhand, just continuously going there. Felix didn't have much of a backhand on the clay. I didn't realise he'd never won at Roland Garros before as well. Um, wow. Which I thought was pretty shocking. And Verilas just was exposing him big time. Ultimately, though, Felix did come through in five sets from two sets down. I was really... Um, there was part of me that wanted Verilas to, to, to just get that done, just to see him really establish his name on the big stage because he's sort of a challenger through and through. We haven't really got to see him do much on like ATP level. Like if he could do it on Grand Slam level, at least a few people will know his name now. That's that's a good thing, at least. Yeah, that's true. We've got um the happy one in saying ITV are not showing Roland Garros anymore. I didn't realise no. that. That's shocking if they're not. Terrible. Um ITV four obviously has been the place they've always shown it. Yep. I mean, it's ridiculous. I don't know why they're scrapping that. It's just one of the most exciting Roland Garros' ever as well. Yep. Uh, a couple of other sort of upsets today. One that I thought was such a one-sided one. Brooksby getting absolutely battered by Pablo Cuevas today. 2-1-2. Two, and two. That's a bit impressive. It didn't look good, did he, Brooksby, at all? I mean, Cuevas, no. we know he can do it. He's a good clay quarter, but it's a yep. shock. A lot of people didn't anticipate um, this just seems to be Brooksby showing he's not that great on the clay. As much as I thought he was better than 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 people were suggesting, he clearly isn't at the level. I mean, he's a clay court master, Cuevas. That's the thing. And I, I even thought Brooksby looked like he might be trying to rally a little bit in that second set. But then I flicked back uh, a moment later and he'd already lost the set. And I was like, oh, no. So he just really wasn't having it his own way today. And well done to Cuevas, rolling back the years, mate. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Kathy for joining us. How are we doing, Kathy? Hey. Uh, and then she's also saying the contracts have been redone. ESPN are not showing Ronald Garros either. They didn't renew. What? Why do all these big companies, these big broadcasters, not renewing Roland Garros? 
So who who is showing it? That should, that should be the big yeah, question. Yeah, good point. Though. Let me know, guys. Where are you watching uh, the matches this year on for Roland Garros? Yeah, I'd be interested to find out. Um, Londero. I don't think he's the that easier first round opponent. I know. I don't know, why you're, have to... I don't know why you're suggesting that. For me, Londero is not it's the not, level he's not he was. Great. No, he's not the level he was. But he's made a fourth round at Roland Garros before, so yeah, like, he could be. You could have a lot. Well, two a few years ago, was it? It was in 2019. So it's just like yeah, it's, he's just not, not that the same. Bad. No, he's not the same. But it's like Guido still... Pella. Guido Pella was doing mm, that then. Would you fancy him now? No, not really. I, don't, I think you're bigging up Londero far too much. I mean. Well, for example, his for last match there. he played, the last match he played at Ronald Garros this year, well, he went, he got knocked out of the qualifying against Borna Gojo straight <laughs> sets. I know, this is so, what I mean. But he has been at the on the big stage before. I mean, for Borna Alcaraz, Gojo breadsticked him. I know, I saw. So you're picking him up far too much, in my opinion. No, but all I'm saying is Alcaraz could have a lot easier first draw, like somebody who hasn't been there before. It, like he's got at least experience at Roland Garros. I don't know. I've, I'm looking at the matches today. I mean, I don't think it could have been any easier than Londero. Um, out of every single player who's played today, I would probably say either Dominic Team or Londero is the easiest matchup. <laughs> That's so bad, I don't know. It's Dominic terrible, Teams but like Dominic Team falling off big time. I uh, there was a, there was a few interesting. I can't believe uh, Fakina d- did what he no- always does. Out again in the grand oh, slam. Yeah. That doesn't shock me that much, no. actually. No. Uh, I see cock and bagel as well. I know. Man. It's madness, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. he was a set up as well. Lost three on the bounce. Uh, Ramos Kokonakis. They're in uh, into a fourth set now. Ramos ahead two to one. Close one that. Karat. I've fifth. got my eye on Coco Goff right now. That one's looking like it could be heading to a tie break. Oh wow. Marino, not an easy match. She's a she can surprise Ooh, a few people. Good shot. Alcaraz back to this match. I know we've not really spoke about it yet. Both players just sort of going through the motions. That is a big winner though from Carlito. His first sort of big signal of intent this whole match. And on serve one all 15 love. And I must say, I really like the Alcaraz outfit. We do know he's another young player sponsored by Nike. Yeah, I don't think he's he's got as I don't think he's got as lucrative deal as Sinner does, though. Don't think so. But Bit regardless mad, of that, it's a nice outfit. They're probably just uh, trying to tie up uh, Yannick Sinner just before he does something big, just in case, so they don't have to pay him even more money. They probably know how big these players can get. Alcaraz must have just got a deal probably beforehand when he wasn't, maybe last year or something, when he wasn't doing yeah, quite so as well. Kathy, they're saying Prime's not showing it either. So who's no. showing, Ronald? Who's showing it then? I have no idea. I've, I, that's what I checked on Prime as well. I couldn't see it on there either. I, it's a bit mad. Probably isn't it, Eurosport. Though? Yeah, Eurosport normally pretty good. Oh, big backhand there. Alcaraz, too strong. He lets it go over his head. It's 40 love. Looking for a game to love on serve. And, well, people are calling him their favourite to win it. I thought I was wow. going to have him winning the whole thing. I would bottled it in the draw preview. <laughs> Is he going to prove me and a lot of other people wrong? Well, he did miss Rome on purpose. So, and there's That's a nice ace from him. Game yeah. to love. Vamos. Just moving the Alcaraz button up. Not going to play it yet. Uh, put it sad. I'm going to have to delete the on the Jabul one because we're not going to be using that for the next few weeks. So, so let's get that out of here. I'm, I'm, that makes me a bit depressed that we don't get to hear oh, no the one. button. I mean, we heard it quite a lot recently, to be fair. Uh, she had two pretty epic tournaments in a row. So we did have a fair good few plays of it. So uh, Ronald Garros, she's just fallen short. Uh, another the, lost to two Polish women in a row. Oh, getting the old lighting on. <laughs> adjusting. I'm not sure what one looks better. Not that one. That one. Yeah, that one's better. Well, the other one <laughs> looked like it's turned white. <laughs> 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 not sure what's going on. Uh, yeah, cheers to Gary there. Just saying. Uh, How doing, Gary? Run. 
just checking in to hit that like button and let everyone know I'm watching in the background. Uh, I'll be around a lot more during the week. Go Nole. Well, he'll be up tomorrow evening. He's playing the night session tomorrow. Uh, earliest 7.45 if you're in the UK. Uh, a lot of matches coming up tomorrow. So yeah. make sure you're joining us for all of those. All the big names are going to be playing. We've got Radu Kanu. We've got Osaka. We've got Nadal. We've got Sviantek. And we've got Djokovic. Pretty it's mad, a monster though. day. It's a monster day. We do have a half day, I believe. So yeah. we should be able to cover quite a bit of it. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably get some helpers in as well. Yes. Let's have a look what Alcaraz can do here. Second serves in from Londero. Forehand of Alcaraz. Good backhand, Londero. Goes to the backhand side again. Alcaraz sort of taking the pace off now. Ooh, good Goes backhand there. to backhand. That's a great shot from Londero. He's got him on the stretch. He goes oh. terrible forehand. Allows Alcaraz <laughs> back in. Bit of a weird bad. choice there because he I, just I took all the pace on it. Why though? Because it was a weird one that just bounced back in. He probably thought, oh, I don't want to go for it because I might miss it. So he, he just did just held. enough. He did just enough. Alcaraz was not getting that low and getting that one over. So good shot in the end I from love the there. Forehand when he whips it round uh, the corner, it sort of curls. Uh, obviously. The best one I can remember recently when is the winning point against Rafa when he sort of curled it round the corner into that top corner. It was amazing. <coughs> oh, nice forehand there from Londero. Really getting Alcaraz on the back foot in this rally at the moment. Alcaraz, great forehand. Got Londero. Yeah, scampering. Well, oh, the crowd liking that one, aren't they? They're loving Different. it. Some good Different. sound effects. <laughs> good power. And uh, do you know you're forgetting to wish someone a happy birthday as well, Ben? I didn't. What, you? Not me. Oh, is it Rafa? No. It's his birthday today. Is it his birthday today? No, not Rafa's. No. I know Rafa's is next, it's next week, I think. Yeah, so whose birthday is it today? Come on, Ben. Fatima's helping you. Happy birthday. Oh, it's oh, no I... lay's birthday. Oh, of course. Oh, how did I forget? <laughs> <laughs> How was his birthday? How was everyone's birthday at the same time? It's a bit it's weird. Not, all the it? best tennis players have a birthday in May. You should know that. That's a bit random, isn't it? I didn't know that. that I didn't, for some reason, part of me thought, what, how would his birthday be so close to Nadal's birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Seems strange. Oh, well, funny. happy birthday, Novak. Not playing on his birthday. Did he request that? <laughs> <laughs> He's having the birthday off. <laughs> Oh, so tennis for me is saying that Eurosport has exclusive UK rights. So in the UK, you can only watch it on Eurosport. Well, it's ridiculous. Not the, it's not the worst. I mean, do you know is... what? It actually does help us out in a selfish way because yeah. ultimately, I think more people will tune into our streams because they're not are going to be able to watch the actual match, which Very is not horrible to suggest. Like, I'd much prefer less people to watch our streams and more people be able to watch the tennis, but. I mean, every every cloud. Well, yeah, jump in the Discord. You might be able to catch it in there. Yep. Right. So we've got Londero serving 40-15 at the moment. Alcaraz definitely has the power advantage, it would seem. That one's wide from Londero. 40-30. Yep. Just seems to be, I don't know, is it just me or Alcrest just looks bigger and bigger each time I see him play? It's like getting like, it's like he's growing it's, every time. It's like this top half is like, big, it's like carrying yeah, he's around. Just so like, hench, I don't know. He's, he's getting taller man. as well. He's still growing. God, he's, he's a beast. Yeah, he's, I feel like, like, has he not stopped growing yet? When do you stop growing? Is it 21? Like, yeah, like 21, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't use, I feel like I stopped growing at like 17. Is his nickname the Hulk, or what are we going to call him? <laughs> Carlito. Carlitos. Or Charlie. He likes to be called Charlie. Have you heard that? I have not heard that. It's in an That's interview. He said, I want to be called Charlie. So <laughs> Sounds very British, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> Do we call him Charlie as well? I'll call him Charlie. If he wants to be Charlie, we could call it. it sounds like Charles. Wait, well, another big one. Look at that. It's on the screen right now. Kanepi defeating Muguruza. I know you yeah. can help it. You had to put her for a few rounds. Didn't Two learn his rounds. lesson. 
I don't know, just in case that she came back and that. Yeah, it's what happened to Muguruza, it's shocking, isn't it? Really, it's terrible. She's not very good. It just she got the bogey player really in the first round as well. It's not. It's at one the problem is, I don't think that's was. the excuse, man. I feel if Muguruza had say Mukova today, she would have still lost. There was a lot of players she could have drawn really and she would have lost. Though. Yeah, true. I think she would have had to have had somebody down the lower of the spectrum of the she ranking. Had to have like a. Um... Who did Yanny. do very well today? A para. Yeah, someone like that. Maybe, well, I'm just trying to have a look, see who else has been playing today. There's been... Uh, There's been loads. Tab. Niemeyer's out. You're qualified to watch. <sighs> Don't, mate. It's terrible. Do you have that, any that, qualifiers that, left on the women's? That, that, that means they're, well, they're, there's two still in. Shunk got in via lucky loser. Come so on, So you've got Shunk. two left. Play Halabanika. <laughs> <laughs> so they're all out <laughs> isn't it terrible that my number one's out and then the other two i've already completely written off i just I, if they go through it's i don't even see I, well it's going to be the best qualifiers to watch if either of them win i think i've done great so but i can't I mean, see my it. qualifier to watch is out as well for rias i've had borges out yeah and then who's the last one i've got on the men's, can't remember. Oh, off no, yeah, all three oh, oh, yeah. out as well. <laughs> all three out today. <laughs> all three yeah. out today. Well, we got Zabata Morales has just taken a first set tie break against Michael Mo. Okay. Squeezed it nine seven. That's you've had to... cut off out. I mean, listen, I'd still beat you on the men's qualifiers to watch purely because of Varillas's display. If all I've of yours got... go out comfortably, Varillas well, steals I've... the show. I think this is about Morales. I'm holding my hopes on him to go Listen, through. Listen, if he and... wins, then I think you, you can take it. Because he's got I've still got left. So I don't know who who is he playing. Someone good, oh, though. Someone not? really good, I think. Yeah, I, I think that's not going to happen. I can have a look for you, just to remind you. I think I already wrote it off in the when we did the draw preview, to be honest. I can't find him. He's not playing tomorrow. Oh, he might be playing Tuesday, then. I put him on some. Giving up on him already. Yeah, her catch. Oh, there it is. <laughs> her catch. Hi. Cheers, Snell. Yeah, cheers. Look at that. It's quicker than us. So, Gary, in saying in, in America, we've got Tennis Channel Plus, NBC, and you guys, of course. If it's a choice <laughs> between Mac McEnroe and GTO, I'll take Ben and JG all day long. <laughs> How about John Silk? Because he's going to be back later on today as well with yeah. the first Silk report. Of this year's Roland Garros, so you don't dun, want to dun, miss dun, it. Dun, dun. Um, I'm hearing he's been preparing jokes all day, looking into the mirror, saying them back to himself. Hopefully, he gets more laughs in that in actual been, <laughs> out of practice. Just he's just been looking at our draw previews and our players. I've to been watch, sending him a few little lines. Great. I don't think he's going to need many. I think he's, there's enough ammunition well, to there. Be to be fair, Sarkari won today and Onstra Bill went out, so I'm kind of already screwed before yeah, I started. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be some guns blazing for you today, mate. Yeah, <laughs> he's coming in hard. I'm just wondering what pun's going to be <laughs> fired out of the silk cannon today. 15 you, love. Londero. What did you think of Bedeni? Also, uh, that was some. No one really gave Bedeni no. a chance. He actually looked pretty good. He was like three point seven five today as well. I mean, I didn't give him a chance either. So fair play, no. impressed That's by him. Another He's thing we've got... not spoke about as well. What does people make of our new scoreboard? As you can see, we have all of the live scores going through the scoreboard now. So you can see yeah. Schwartzman beating Kuznetsov. We've got Muk over there beating Monet. So while you're watching us, you can have a look at some other matches round the courts. Keep you updated. Oh, there's another one of mine that was wrong. <laughs> I had that one as well. Pretty good. <sighs> Damn it. That was a bit annoying. That, that one, I thought I was on, in on one when Taberna took a set. I was like, God, like he's going to do it. No, I thought, <laughs> it fell yeah, apart. It fell apart. Didn't have the bottle, unfortunately. How are we doing, John De La Ros? Thanks for joining us. Same hey, vamos. Mate. Yeah, if you are just joining anyway, always remember, whack a like on the video. Subscribe to Game to Love if you're new. Oh, a terrible backhand from Londero. He had all the court to aim at. Fires it wide. <laughs> what an awful shot. I missed it. Oh, mate, watch the... You can see this terrible replay. 
It was a good volley from Alcaraz, and then he just poking in at his feet. I know. I but see then, it. Look, you see how high and wide it was going oh, yeah, past his head. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, it wasn't even. It was so high off uh, above the net. There was no chance it was ever going in. Oh, it was close to an ace that one. But this could be Alcaraz's chance to break. Fifteen thirty. No, poor return from Alcaraz into the yeah, net. Yeah, strange. Not oh, really got going yet, is he? Alcaraz. No. Medical uh, timeout uh, for Aslan Karatsev in the five-set thriller against Ugo Calabelli at the moment. He's <laughs> three he love doing? up in the fifth <laughs> set. Is it? I'm assuming that's not a medical timeout for him then. Yeah, it is. For him. Oh, so he's free love up and he's having a medical yeah. timeout. <laughs> I think he's tired. The calves oh, have got too much no. lactic acid in, maybe. That's a bit mad, isn't it? Uh, Aslan. Yeah. Hopefully he's I always right. knew, oh, knew come that. Come on, Coco's doing well. Yeah, yeah. I've got another one of my qualifiers to watch. Donna Vekic <laughs> playing right now. That one's going to be going to a tie break. <laughs> I forget Bjorklund. It is a tough one. one. We've got Leila Fernandez kicking off right now. Was we supposed to be covering that? I didn't put it in there. Oh, that's good. I, knew, I thought it would overlap. Have you set up? Are we doing any more streams today? That's the no, question. This is the only one. Makes sense. Yeah. Tomorrow we've got a very big one. So, I mean, I don't think there is any more matches anyway, is there? No, this is last one on. Tomorrow yeah. night we have the start of the night matches. I know we've got Gasanova, Bauskova, which we're not going to be covering. So, um, tomorrow is just a, it's just massive. I mean, it starts off with, is there a ten a.m. to start? Osaka versus Anisimova. Yeah, so we've got an Osaka and Anisimova ten a.m. start, eleven a.m. Eager, one thirty, Raducanu. Yeah, two o'clock, Nadal, and then evening match, Djokovic. Gosh, I'm looking forward to it, mate. Maybe we can cover all of them. Yeah, mate, we will cover. Well, if we can, we will. But if no, when we I say we, I mean we. Yeah, if we can I think we could, depending think, on... It's just the morning ones that I might struggle with, that's all. Yeah. All right, we'll so play by might, I really don't want to miss an eager match, though. I mean, I don't care so much about the Osaka one. If someone oh, else wants... The Osaka one, you can't really miss. No, that one's it's more competitive, one. but I want to watch eager. That's a great drop shot there by Londero. Probably the shot of the match so That's far. Great one, wasn't it? Um, really clever, I must admit. Great drop shot. Alcaraz can't get there. And it's free all in the first set. We've got Seth in saying, can Londero escape from Alcaraz? <laughs> can anyone escape? Um, if you guys want the chance to get on our new top tippers, look, it's it's all clear for Roland Garros. You can become a Roland Garros top tipper champion and if you want to join our membership, you can be shown on the leaderboard as the latest member. All you got to do is whack the join button and then you can have special live chat privileges. Come on. It's got to be worth it, hasn't it? Yeah, we just added an Ons Jabour emote as well. So <laughs> what better time to join the membership and use the Ons Jabour emote? Maybe I have to take that straight out again. <laughs> Put Londero in there instead. Maybe, maybe. Wait and Good see. Shot again from me. I mean, he's actually playing as well as Alcaraz. There's nothing separating these two at the moment. Nope. Are we not going to cover Klaichikova tomorrow? If somebody wants to cover a Klaichikova, I'm happy for someone. Diane to help. Parry. It's French, yeah. Yeah. Well, bear in mind, Michael, I had Neymar to go about <laughs> three rounds as well in my bracket. It's so annoying. <laughs> I completely destroyed my bracket with that stupid pick. The qualifier to watch got in your head, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, she's great to Are watch. Be, well, I'm not she? watching her anymore. <laughs> no, definitely not. I, well, she's lost a Sloan, didn't she? So it wasn't the best first round match, but I thought it was a winnable one. She was the favourite as well. 1.4. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, here what, comes Londero, though. 15.30, second serve to look at. Could we be looking at the first oh. break point of the match here? Could this be the biggest upset of the whole tournament coming up? Oh, massive forehand, oh, Alcaraz, winner. I mean, it's hard to say because imagine Alcaraz goes out tomorrow. Djokovic, Nadal <laughs> go out. <laughs> For all, imagine all three of them go out first round. The scenes, the carnage. 
then Sitter passes thinking rubbing Sitter his hands. Passes, he would just definitely bottle it at that point. I think he would just withdraw. Medvedev no. wins the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Karatsev comes for and wins it. Kasper Rude, maybe. There'd be an opportunity if everybody else went out. How is he doing anyway? Karatsev. I don't know if he's back Three, on Three one court. playing oh, still, yeah. If he loses the next six games, then we'll know that it's all gone to pot. Oh, the Batamanas is getting it wrapped up. He's I doing well. So. Do you, do you see Nos- point Nos- coming up here though? Quick clear it is forehand to backhand, backhand there. It's into oh. the net, into the net from Londair. Alcaraz gets out of this tricky situation with a 40 30. He needs to hold his game and get to 4 3. He's not playing well. I mean, not doing anything really at the moment. What do you reckon on no- was it Noskova? She's got three what points. What is it? No, have some respect. Say her name properly, Ben. Are you saying it properly? We'd have to get to go to Gary. Gary is the he has the correct <laughs> Russian pronunciation. So she's not Russian, she's oh, Czech. Oh, Czech pronunciation. He knows those as well. So <laughs> give us the correct one. Sorry, mate. You're gonna have to educate me on Noskova. Noskova. You don't know anything about her. No, I know. Seventeen. She's a real talent, man. We're gonna be Probably. watching her tomorrow. I know you you're bigger on those younger girls than what I am. <laughs> oh, oh what a great shot. There. Londero, he's loving it. I'm right on Garris at the moment. What I uh... wish you could play in Shatter every day. <laughs> I'm telling you, mate, Londero, not to be laughed at, this guy. He was at one point really, really promising, like, say, top, was he top 30, top 20? I feel like you're bigging him up far too much. Well, I thought, he, I thought he used to be a really, really good player. That's why I, I feel that he's fallen off, but... He's still been in Roland Garros in a fourth round before. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a good serve, that, by the way, from Alcaraz. Gets to advantage now. Let's see who he beat. Like, Oh, so I guess who he went out to when he went out in Rafa. the fourth round. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So he beat Basashvili, he beat Gasquet, that. he beat Moutet, and then went out to Rafa. So quite good, really. I remember that that year. I think it was before we we didn't do it on the podcast, but no. I was watching it religiously on ITV4. Ah, oh, those are the days. <laughs> those were the days. And El Caraz does get out of that service game. He leads here four three, still on serve, but the Spaniards not got going yet fully. And not looking around the other courts, Kubler probably was the best qualified to watch. He's up a break in the second set and a set. Uh, we've got Aslan Karatsev, free level up now, back on serve, 3 2. Oh, my word. So he is falling apart. It's a bad Morales up a break in the second. Come on. On the women's, Coco Goff looks like she'll be getting that one done very soon. Nice. Um, and Bjorkland Beckett, 6 all in a tie break at the moment. <laughs> Do I, am I going to have another qualifier going out today? Come on, Bjorkland. <laughs> and we've got Leila Annie Fernandez against Mladenovic. That one's on serve. Yeah, I, th- I think Fernando should be able to do her. She is French, though. <laughs> you love it. It's like Barrera. Mate, that was, a, was I said. Reasoning with Barrera. That was the only reason, because he was French. That's why I thought he might be. A t- I think Dan- Tara Daniel, sometimes he, he drops back down to challenger level. And I think Barrera is challenger level. How are we doing, Gene? Thanks for joining us. And he's hey. saying some, something interesting. I thought this was <clears> true. <throat> Bjorkland's Chapo's girlfriend. Oh, didn't know that. I, I didn't know if it was Bjorkland, but I knew there was a tennis player involved. That's interesting. Cheers, Gene. Gene keeping us <laughs> up to date on the gossip. Let's do a news story on that. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> oh, it Alcaraz, the worst forehand of the match. What was that? Just hit it into the floor. Oh yeah, another thing, Ben. I don't know if you're if it's possible, but can you quickly make a thumbnail for the Silk Report? Because I believe it will be coming pretty much the moment this match finishes. The Silk Report will be going live, so you got time. Oh, yeah, because we've got a few sets in this. It is a Grand Slam. It's not going to be, well, very least, it's going to be three sets. Might be more here. Yeah, five. So we've got plenty of time. <laughs> I could be here until midnight. <laughs> 
Oh, Ooh. another little drop shot. Oh, it's so what good. A drop shot, Londero. The Londero drop shots have been brilliant. I mean, we talk about Alcaraz, how good he is. Um, we've not seen a single drop shot from him. He's not been allowed. No. I love it, though. Londero giving him a taste of his own medicine. I'll try and find the uh, old silky report thumbnail. Yeah, I think we know who's going to be on the front of it. It's got to be on Jabur, isn't it? Might Sadly. be Londero, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. Can't uh, we we'll have to change the whole thumbnail now. Can't preempt it too much. The Silkrapa. Do we have that on there now? No, I, I, I can't. Like you I, did do it though. I I did do it, but then we didn't add it to the actual video because I wasn't sure. Like, if you leave even like, I thought it was pretty funny. It was like the Silk Report. <laughs> I think we've got to put it on. <laughs> we need some little voiceovers for Silk. I know. Should give him some of his own buttons. I feel as well. I don't know if John's using. I'm doing the. I'm going to be in the back room doing it again. Okay. Silk's just the face. Yeah, he's just he the looks doesn't get paid enough. On the brains, to do the buttons. buttons. <laughs> <laughs> he wants additional. <laughs> I found the toolbar, by the way, but for some oh, reason, ace down the tee. Londera, faulty love, looking for a game to love here. Playing faultless tennis right now. Alcaraz in trouble. I'm going to say, I generally think he's in trouble in this first set because Londera's not put a foot wrong. And Adkaraz hasn't got warmed up at all. He's not playing well. Uh-oh. Serves in as well. Big forehand to the backhand of Alcaraz. Goes to the forehand corner. Alcaraz sliding around, but he's under pressure again. He's on the back foot. That one's just wide. It is a game to love. Londero wow. forces it to the business end. We've got King of Justin saying Londero in five. Reckon saying wow. Londero is a great player. <laughs> Following Ben's footsteps here. He is a great player. But this is the thing that, as well that no one's really been speaking about is, do you think the pressure that Alcaraz has put on himself by saying, I think I can win it, and everyone just getting on that same bandwagon? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Do reckon he's giving himself... It could he be at his own detriment. Like he's giving himself a bit of a mountain to climb. <laughs> Massively. He looks He looks a bit nervous, I feel like, out on there on the court. He looks like there's a bit of extra weight on him, which there probably is. All that muscle mu mass. Mus <laughs> this top half looks like there's extra, a lot of extra weight. Oh, Vekic takes the first set. 8-6. Ah. Come on. Qualify to watch for a reason. <laughs> I think I've got. Oh, listen, I've already got the women's wrapped up. I don't care. I think yours what is. Do you mean? It's not over yet. I've still got two left in. <laughs> Shunk's out tomorrow. <laughs> Shunk's good. With double bagel. Winning the whole thing. Oh, Fernandez up free love. Love to see it. Oh, finally drop shot Alcaraz. It works. 30 love. I want to see more of them. We've got Benchit serving for the match as well. Going for a double breadstick and talking of breadsticks what about Dimitrov today he liked oh. a good breadstick didn't he tri tri triple breadstick <laughs> wasn't that from Dimitrov it, this is a name no one's talking about as well Grigor Dimitrov Had Dimitrov win Roland Garros this year Ben wouldn't that be weird if he was to do something like that that'd be typical Dimitrov wouldn't it no one talking about <laughs> him just waltzes through the draw and then he would retire I think he would retire uh, yeah, I, yeah definitely retire don't play the next tournament because you'll go out in the first round to someone <laughs> terrible just leave with your legacy right <laughs> as like who is this guy what's happened to him <laughs> Sean said I think Alcaraz has peaked oh come on Sean I'll leave it out stop being so harsh I don't like people who just heat at the moment, get proper into this and just sort of start turning on players. He's not even losing this match. One serve. <laughs> I know. That's how good he's become is like if he gets close to <laughs> in a set, now we are questioning him. Yeah, apparently the Silk Report will be coming at 11 p.m. UK time. 11 p.m.? No one's no one will be up by then. We'll be in bed. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him if he can do any earlier. But I mean eleven's fine. 
definitely with the end of play. I'll be shocked if there's any matches <laughs> going on then. This is, uh, it will give me time to uh, pick the right thumbnail pick. Yeah. Oh, good volley there from Alcaraz. Takes the lead again, 5-4. One thing that should be noted, that if this was, say, like a Rafa or a Novak and they were just starting their tournament, when they go to the business end in their first set or even in the first few sets in any match, no one ever says, oh, look, I think they're a bit up. They just think, oh, are they going to Yeah, because we it? expect it. I mean, exactly. I'm not, listen, I'm not saying, have I, I don't know if I've given the wrong message off in this stream. I'm not saying Alcaraz is done out here. He's doing all right. He's just not playing as well as we know he can. Yeah, but is that the same that we would say about Djokovic and Nadal, let's say, when they no, don't play. No, maybe not. Play, you, because you the, the difference with them, mate, is we they've proven it time and time again. Like, is this the first know. time? Like, if Djokovic lost it. that first set, to he lost that last first set to Draper, didn't he, at Wimbledon? Yeah. What did, did that mean? It like was anyone really worried? No, nobody for a second. Do you get he was going worried? Out. Yeah, because you no one. If, if Londera takes his first set, I don't think I would even be worried. That he, I think Alcaraz still wins the match. But would you get worried like if like Nadal Djokovic there, like say at five all in the first set? No, that's what I mean. Like that, because you always know that then they step it up for a game and then they take a set. Just I'm not like worried that. about Alcaraz, really. Yeah, because that's what he could potentially do. Are we talking about him in that same sort of like breath? Really? No, we're not. We're not. And technically, do you think he can do that? Technically, he's great. He's arguably the best player in the world right now on form. That's what Zverev said, and I kind of agree. But he's a bit unproven. Let's be honest. He's a young Very. kid. He's not. What's he done in the Grand Slam? Nothing yet, really. Apart from what US Open did. Okay, get beat sister past that time. But he's got a lot of. He's got a lot to prove. So let's not get carried away with Alcaraz. Um, so of course you can't really compare it to them guys you've mentioned. Just checking. Just throwing a spanner in the works. Just just seeing if people were seeing him in the same light. Wow, Coco Goff finished that quick. Bagel. Wow. 20 minutes set, I think, the second one. That's somewhere to be. <laughs> 27 <laughs> minutes, the second set. That's terrible. What happened? Coco happened. Yeah. I think, thankfully, I've got a quite deep in my bracket. So, same. Saving grace for the, the terrible Ons Jabur exit. Well, I'm just waiting for Andreescu to go out tomorrow, and then that's my bracket completely <laughs> destroyed as well. Because everyone's got eager. Yeah, that's the that's the well. If she, I goes mean, I'm gonna out, have a look at some percentages back. in a minute, but let's focus on the match right now because this first set could be won right here. It's 15 or Alcaraz, three points away from this first set, and like like Ben's been suggesting, is this the moment he pounces? He's gonna have a second serve to look at. If he breaks here, he takes the set. Second serve to the backhand oh. of Alcaraz. It's a great backhand. Yeah. Instantly pushes him on the back foot, and it's like what we was, <laughs> we, we was thinking. We hit the business end. These big players, they come to life, and That's it's it. fifteen thirty-two points away now. This is it, and the pressure ramps up now on Londero. Alcaraz just put a little little ten percent extra on a return. It's the same thing that like the likes of Nadal and Djokovic, Federer, all those type of great players do. You can't call him the down Federer, man, and Djokovic. No, but he's doing the th things in the same, in a similar manner. Look, he gives the shots an extra bit of power on these ones. But what a shot down the line from Londero. He's got him running round. Alcaraz on the stretch. That's, That's going wide. wide. Yeah. Well done, Londero. Good tennis from him. Came Attacking out tennis. It was a shot down the line. Look at that. Whoa. That's amazing. I mean, bullet. Imagine if we pulled something like that off, a backhand <laughs> like that. I know. I wouldn't be expecting it back, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like he had more time to do something with that last shot, but he was a bit off balance. Yeah, Big moment, two points away. Yeah. He's going to have another second serve to look at. I can't find those uh, first serves. At well, there is relying on his first serve anyway. 92% he's won. Second wow. serve, not bad. Over 50% with that win, with that point. Do you, find it's 40, 30. Do you find it's interesting that, you know, that if we've got the scoreboard and it says, like, above all their stats, this is like Alk. But then for 
Londero. It doesn't say Lon. It says LJI <laughs> for <Yeah>. Juan Ignacio. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it should say Lon, but I don't know. Lon would make more sense. Well. Oh, he's double faulted. See, let the pressure yeah. get into him. Pressure moments. Two points away again. Alcaraz, he's got him where he wants him right now. Can he take the first set? Karatsev's back. 4-2 up. Broke says, again. I was wrong. He hasn't peaked. <laughs> yeah, I think Sean's trolling us. Yeah, I think so. Ooh. Needs to put those in the corner a bit more, Londero. That's just now. overpowered. Come on, Alcaraz. Let's get here this done here. Is he Alcaraz with the moon balls there on the baseline? And he likes the mix-up. I like I like the fact that he does those because even when I saw him doing them against Djokovic, it just gives that extra element of just It worked something... well against Djokovic, actually. Here we go. All... Set point. Yeah. Set point for Tali. Come on, Charles. Ooh. Come on, Charles. Let's get this done. Charlie. Second serve. Is he going to step into his backhand? Big one. Yes. Londero goes into the net. Carlos Alcaraz takes the first set. 41 minutes. Vamos. Let's go. And it's the first button press as well because it's the first break. Vamos. Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres. Vamos. 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 Woo! Come on, see, he did exactly what I said he was going to do. Yeah. Breaks when he gets to the business end. I think this is an amazing opportunity now to tell you about uh, a new sponsor on the channel. Great for the mental side of your tennis game, Apeak Tennis. Isn't it frustrating when you play great in practice but play poorly during competition? Performing well during competition requires your ability to remain present, focused, believe in yourself when things are going against you, manage expectations in a way that allows you to play freely and always be ready to embrace challenges as opportunities for improvement. AP Tennis is led by a legendary and world-renowned performance psychologist, Dr. Jim Leyer, who helped 17 athletes become world number ones, including Novak Djokovic, Andre Agassi, Jim Currier, Monica Seles, and Arantxa Sanchez Vicario. At AP, their mission is to make mental training accessible and affordable so that everyone can receive world-class mental training anytime and anywhere now for less than six dollars a month build annually you can start winning more matches and enjoy the game in the process best of all ap is a freemium app that means you have access to everything for seven days without putting credit card information you can purchase the app if you like it or even if you do not purchase the app you will still have full access to the resources section where you will receive weekly mental training lessons ap tennis is already used by so many top u.s college teams and top players the official mental training of intercollegiate tennis association and the united states professional tennis association with AP Tennis, it does give you the competitive advantage. Yes, indeed. Great app. Uh, if you are a tennis player yourself or you're looking to just get into tennis, it does really work. Make sure use the link in the description. Download AP Tennis. Get your free trial. Uh, I promise you I've used it yeah. and it does work. Yeah, give it a try. Uh, you got seven days for free and it is... So an app which I do I do believe will help your tennis game improve. Definitely. It really does. It's the one thing that we always say, like even when we're talking about all the professionals, is like they're all amazing at tennis, but there's only the, the ones who are the great ones are the ones who handle the mental side of the game. And... Definitely. Well, that's the difference for me between sort of challenger tennis and the ATP tour. 
I yep. mean, technically, the Challenger guys hit the ball so well. We see it with Varillas today. Yeah, but they just amazing. It's just different, they're small little fine margins in the game. And um, if you can take care of your mental side, then it can help you sort of get to them levels and actually finally get some big wins, which you wouldn't have got before. I think that Madlenovic needs to download A Peak Tennis right now. She's five love <laughs> down in the first set again. Needs more Amanda. than A Peak Tennis, I'll tell you that. <sighs> She's, she's got the French crowd there. <laughs> Might need a new it. racket as well. She might need everything. Well, we know what Madlenovic matches are like. They're normally love six, six love, and then six one or something like that. That's the standard score line oh, for her. Vekic down a break. <laughs> Don't like to see that, do you, Ben? I oh, know. It's horrible to watch. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a... Oh, uh, and there, I'll crash. That one hits the net cord. Backhand. Oh, he misses it. Tried for a crafty angle. Pulls it wide. 40 30. We've got Kokonakis serving out for the fourth set, trying to take that one to five. Yeah, I knew that was going to go five. I mean, I should actually do betting on how many, like, on the over sets. amount of sets. Yeah. Definitely set betting. I mean, today I knew the ones that were going to go five. I kind of called it all. Yeah, you called definitely. Tara Daniels. <laughs> no, definitely not that right one. I didn't, I didn't expect that. Mate, yeah, I don't sometimes. even mean about going five. I mean, just to take a set. For example, yeah, yeah. Rias to take a set. Quentin yeah. Howes to take a set. Like These ones I kind of thought was going to happen today. Borges to take a set. Yep. I think it's good money in all of that. Greek oh, yeah. score, take a set. All the underdogs to take a set, for sure. Not all of them, but all of the ones oh. you mentioned. Oh, good hard hitting rally here, and he's too powerful for Londera. Alcaraz does hold first game of the second set, one love, and he's in a commanding position right now. Set up, and he's all right here in the second. He's serving first as well because he broke right at the end. He gets to serve first, which I think is always an advantage. And listen, not many nerves from him. Seems to just be doing what he has to do. And very reminiscent of the big players when we talk about the big three because he's not actually playing that well. And how many times will we watch Rafael Nadal opening round Roland Garros or most, most, more, more likely Djokovic? And we watch him and we think, he didn't really play that good today. I mean, he didn't have to do very much, but yet he still won in straight sets. And I feel exactly. Alcaraz, we're seeing that kind of performance here. Where he's only he's not pushing his body to the max, I don't think. He doesn't need to. He's just right. doing his own maximum. Yeah, I mean he just turns it on when he has to, I feel. Oh, that's a great forehand from Londero. Gets him scampering again there, Alcaraz. Yeah. But it's all about consistency over a long period of time. And that's the thing that Alcaraz has in abundance. Yeah. Uh it's not easy to play well. Uh, over a full set of tennis, especially yeah. up in the level as well, right at the end, just to try and get it over the line. That's a great serve from Londero yeah, there as he's well. Serving. Mate, listen, the first serve of Londero I've been most impressed with today. And I know what you've been saying about Londero, how you've been bigging him up. I'm not a massive fan, but one thing I will say, his first serve's excellent. Yeah, he's really won good. 87% behind his first serve. So only two points he's lost when he's hit a first serve in. Is our winners and unforced errors working, or is it just don't doesn't look like it? No. So there's no un winners and unforced errors. Hopefully we can get that sorted as the tournament progresses. But currently, as we speak, there isn't anything on there. Um, I'll tell you what it is based upon the other source. Uh, it says six winners for Londero, nine winners for Alcaraz, nine unforced errors for Londero, ten for Alcaraz. So Alcaraz has more unforced errors than winners. Yeah, both. Yeah, it's not. It's listen. I'm not surprised at all. It's just how it felt to me as well. Yeah. Oh, great forehand from both players. There, uh, levels really sort of stepped up in this second set. It feels like. Oh, power from Alcaraz. The crowd given. Ooh, oh! it's coming in. Yeah, it's, it's in. Coming Londero. back. Londero, great play here. Great Al defense, man. Alcaraz's power. Look Let's at go. it. Come on, Alcaraz. Brilliant tennis from him, man. That's my favorite part of the match so far. Alcaraz gets the point. One thing you want to worry 15. about. Yeah, the one thing you want to worry about in that type of rally as well is 
all you're doing is with those nice long rallies is warming Alcaraz up. I feel <laughs> like the more he gets to hit and he hits clean, if he ends up winning the rally, he's got more confidence yeah. and he's uh, just got his hand in a little bit better, uh, ready for the next rally, which is coming up right now. Unless he can find a good first serve again. Oh, it was a great return. Now he's gone drop oh, shot. Drop shot. No, oh, it didn't it. make it. It had a good shape to it. It's yeah, unlucky. It's a little bit too delicate, that one. Your boys are batting around. That's doing all right, Ben. Four nice two one. up in a second. My number one qualifier to watch. He's no scat of, but uh, he's doing his best. And I want to take this opportunity as well to thank everyone for joining us in our first Roland Garros match of 2022. <sighs> If you haven't already, please hit the like button on the video and subscribe if you're new. We're not quite up to 100 and that the benchmark is 100 for every single Roland Garros match this year. So trying to help us get there. It helps us with the algorithms. So hit the like button, of course, subscribe because we have an absolute ridiculous day tomorrow um, with some crazy matches. I can read some which we've already got streams uh, planned for. So it's Nadal Thompson. We've got Djokovic Nishioka, Asaka Nisimova, Iga Tezarenko, uh, and Raducanu Nozkova. I mean, we've got qualifiers to watch. We've got world number ones. We've got a bit of everything on tomorrow. We really do. And then we've got and... Jordan Thompson as well. And to... <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, we saw him in Zagreb. <laughs> I was watching. I was I was within a meter of him on <laughs> courtside. He was having a bit of on-court coaching, which I wasn't really happy about, though. <laughs> What's going on? Challengers feel like... Was that you or the coach giving him the coaching? No, he definitely wasn't lis listening to me. Oh, he did know. go out. So maybe he was. <laughs> maybe he was. No, he was up against that guy. I can't remember. What it was. was it Wu? Or something? Yeah, Wu. The, yeah, the guy who was sort of coming back uh, from a long-term injury. Yeah, he played well, actually. Yeah, he was. He was. He's had a decent match. Well, as I as I said to you before, he likes to go. Ben, can we get there? Yeah, of course we can. Madlenovic, six love in the first set. Now she's go got home, three, three break points in Let's the second, first game of the second <laughs> set. I told you, mate. Starts really turning home as well. She go home. She loves it. Oh, Vekic is back. Yeah, yeah, she's back. She's gonna win that, isn't she? Yeah, easy. Oh, another unforced error from Alcaraz. Ooh. Strange forehand, drags it wide. Advantage Londero. He's definitely not playing well, but just doing what he has to do. Yep. Konkinakis, I don't know what happened to him. He was serving for the set, got oh. broke back. Ramos is really not letting him out. That oh. one's sh sh soon to be 5 all. And Karatsev, yeah. one game away, but I feel he's going to probably get broken serving for it as well, isn't he? He tends to. know what to. he's like. Yeah, he's not been the Karatsev of... Uh, was it last year? Yeah, I've, I've struggled to remember remember which year's which anymore. He's not the same one uh, as then. The Australian Open Karatsev anymore. Although he did win Sydney this year. Oh, great rally. Always oh, clipped the net cord there, Londero. Goes down the line. Looped up. Good rally. Come on, Alcaraz. Hit the corners a little bit more. Goes backhand slice to the backhand corner. Londero steps around with a forehand. A bad decision. Bad, bad decision. decision. He was punished. Londero holds serve. One all. Good tennis there. Terrible decision, though, from Alcaraz there. He decided to run round his backhand and hit an inside-out forehand. Left the whole court exposed. And Londero just pile-drived a backhand down the line. Yeah, yeah look, you weird. see him opens up his body, plays it, and he's so far out of the court there. The obvious shot, and it was a great shot. Right, but Adelovic is broken. Uh, it's just no surprise. I don't. I, I told you it's <laughs> what's going to happen. She's probably going to win this one, either six love or six one. No, she's not going to. She's going to still lose this one. She'll. Put, she'll. It's going to be. That's what all of them are like. They love. It's, <laughs> I just don't get it. I just, I, there's no. She needs a peak tennis, definitely. Maybe she just got sent it after the first set. Maybe she's <laughs> listening to the stream. Just downloaded it in the toilet break. Oh, nice oh, inside out great. forehand there from Alcaraz. He tried earlier. Didn't work though. Yeah. Should have done that a bit better the first time, shouldn't he? Don't loop it up so much. I mean, I was saying, honestly, what's the point of doing an Adele Thompson watch long? No offense to Jordan. 
I mean, we're watching the, the King of Clay in action. Like opening round of Roland Garros. Not going to miss that. Open and another out. thing, if Rafa has his, a bad foot, which he can often have, might go out. then Thompson might beat him. I might don't think... Out. I honestly suggest... Like, listen, with Nadal, it is a bit of a lottery. Because of his foot problem, if that was to surface, then he's going to be in trouble, isn't it? Doesn't matter who he plays. If he was playing Ben, he might lose. A bad foot. Don't know about that. He could have no feet and he'd probably <laughs> beat me. <laughs> the uh it's like saying, Wow, why are you gonna do Djokovic Nishioka? Can Nishioka beat Djokovic tomorrow, Ben? I don't think so, mate. I don't think there's no, much of a no chance, chance of that. Okay, I think there's Rome. <laughs> do you think there's more chance Nishioka takes Djokovic or Thompson takes Nadal? Probably Thompson only via injury to Nadal, though. That's the only way I see it happening. I don't see him beating him like in just a normal, like everyday style tennis match. Normal slog out. Yeah, I don't think Thompson's he's going to slog it slug out and down on Satria. He'll beat him in the Battle of the Tashes. That's about it. Good serve, Alcaraz. Yeah, that was a good Unreturnable. Kick. It is a game to love. Good service game for him. Needs more of them. It's going to be interesting to see Alcaraz. It wouldn't be a grand slam if I didn't cut you off with a button. It's oh, grand fine. slam season. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I was going to say, it's going to be interesting to see, should Alcaraz progress, how he improves as the tournament goes on? Because I'm hoping this isn't an Alcaraz for the whole tournament. No, don't be he's... silly. No, it's just the first round. Well, because he's going to need to be at his best come the third quarter. round. Potentially quarter, yeah. Potentially quarter. That's the that's the big matchup that everyone wants to see. Or maybe they don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I would like to I'd see Alcaraz wanna... get all the way to well, Yeah, but I want to see him beat... beat beat people, overcome adversity. Like, if he was to beat Corder, that's a real signal of intent. Like, where, where do you have Alcaraz going out anyway? In your semis? Uh, yeah, semis. Okay. And one thing I've not done yet, actually, which I'm really fascinated to do, is have a look at the tennis, uh, TNNS league. Let's see, for a start, big shout out to everyone who joined our league. We've got 1,030 ah, members. Amazing. Which is mad. So thanks, everyone, for joining. We got a big flurry in the last draw previews. And the other exciting thing is let's see who people actually picked. So if we start with the men's. It is announced. It's quite interesting. Novak Djokovic was the most picked player to win Ronald Garros this year with 35%. It's not that high then. I thought you were going to say something crazy. No. And second, guess who it is? Alcaraz. Carlos Alcaraz with 35% as well. So it must be Djokovic like 35.4 or something and Alcaraz 35.3. I think it's a bit crazy, but, but still. Pretty much the same percentage. So 35, 35. Rafael Nadal in third with 16%. A Roland Garros where Rafael Nadal only 16% have picked him. I mean, that's got to be the lowest I've seen in the last 15 years. Yeah, I mean, I get, I understand why. That's the thing. Like, if there wasn't all of the foot thing, then you'd probably see him top. So we have one percent the... going with Daniel Medvedev to win. Ridiculous. But Dominic team was the tenth most picked. What? He was the tenth most picked. With just less than one percent, but still, he's out. <laughs> Everyone feeling all right. We got Rublev ninth, Rude eighth. Medvedev, seventh. Sinner, sixth. What's this a pass? Fourth, with 9%. Oh, okay. That's fine. I feel like he should be... I think that's about right. Maybe he has... Probably, he has an easier half of the draw, though. But with Sissipas, on the bottom half finalists, 71% have Sissipas in the final. Yeah. That's, that's, that's insane. And I don't. <laughs> I feel that he is the best of the rest. That's why. I feel that he can handle his mental side against people like Medvedev, people like Zverev, people like that, but he just struggles against the bigger players. And Alcaraz is one of those. Do you want to know the women's one? Oh, my word. We, <laughs> sounds good. Well, the, we were talking about the percentages. What did we think it was going to be? Well, I, so I'm going to ask you now. What, did you, what do you think it is? 
What's your 90, final answer? I'm going to go 90%. No, it's not 90%. That's too high. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Right. Mate, that... People do go a bit like crazy. Oh, okay. It's like 78%. 76%. There you okay. go. Yeah, mate, it's lower than I thought, actually. Yeah. Second, Ons Jabur, 5% out. Ah. Uh... Halep third for 4%, Badoza 3%, oh, Sakri 1%, and Emma Raducanu, sixth, sixth most picked to win this year's Roland Garros. I would love it if Raducanu won Roland Garros. It would just be, it, it would warm my heart if she was to win and it. Muguruza was 14th most picked, already out. Terrible. Who's picking that? Shame, <laughs> just, shame on you. There's a few people out there. We've got Krajcik for <laughs> eighth most picked. Well, I will wait to see how she does in her first match, and then we'll see. Fair enough. But, yeah, I'm a bit uh, quality shots. <laughs> Raducanu Medvedev to win <laughs> a repeat of the US Open. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? That would be yeah, a turn up for Interesting the read. I do like looking at them, and I've not had a look, so I promise you that's the first time I've seen it. She's got to get past Noskova first. <laughs> not got any I think I've been bigging up Noskova a bit too much. I don't think she's as much of a world beater as I've suggested by my bracket. She's the champ. Wimbledon, no, the Roland Garros champion. You said, wasn't it? Yeah, in the, in the juniors. <laughs> it's big. She did lose to like four hundred in the world the other day to double breadstick. Who was the who was the like, lady she lost? Oh, oh, sorry, that she lost to. Bartolakova, maybe, or something like that. It's not someone you know. No, okay. Not a, not a household not a name. name. <laughs> it's not a household name she lost to, no. I'm just checking to see how Karat... Oh, yeah, you're right. Karatsev did bottle it. He's yeah. back on... So he's 5-4. He's going 5 He was 5-2 up. He was 5-2 up in the third. He's just the biggest bottle I've ever met, Aslan. What's happened to the guy? He, no, no, he's always been a bottler, though. I think even when he was good, he used to bottle it. Yeah, he did. Look at uh old what's his face? Uh what's his name? Ramos. Oh, what a shot that is from Alcohol, Ramos Kokanakis at the moment. They're uh oh, oh amazing. Ends with a drop oh, shot. A drop shot. I love that little passage from Alcaraz 30 15. Sorry, what was you saying? Um, I was gonna say Kokanakis <laughs> looks like he's going into a tie break <laughs> in that before. Look at Madlenovic. <laughs> Look at Madlenovic. Shove a doing? double break. <laughs> Just <laughs> free love up. I'm telling you, mate. I don't know what it is. It's fixed. Something's not right there. With it just doesn't make sense, does it? There's going to be a bagel in the third. If she wins it, Leila six... Fernandez is going to win six love in the third. I'm telling you, if she wins it six, if she wins it six love or six one, that second set, it's ridiculous. What do you reckon the third set is? Who are you favouring? Leila Fernandez again. She'll lose the final. <laughs> it's that's sort of how ridiculous it'll become. Leila Fernandez will then batter her again. Yeah. It doesn't ever go with Madlenovic. It's always like one on, one off, one on. So the fact she started with one off, it means that she'll lose. She doesn't ever do two good sets in a row. Yeah, so the first set is very important for her then. It <laughs> Massive. It's absolutely huge. Life-changing. Oh, Hugo Carabelli leveled it up. Five all. Oh, my word. Bows Ramos over. trying to go to a tie break with Kokonakis. Vekic from two love down in the second. Looks to be going five, two up. Wow. She's going Smashing for five it. games in a row. It's doing what well. What to watch? I mean, you wasn't watching her, was you, Ben? Well, Maybe I'll you should have been. You said, thumbnail. what did you say? <laughs> Every year she goes out in the first round of Ronald Garros. I've been looking yeah. at her. I've been looking at all of her records and she always she goes playing out. She wasn't playing she? In the other years. <laughs> <laughs> well... Chapo will be joining Bjorkland soon. Rune's going to go and put him out. They can go and have a nice uh, holiday together somewhere <laughs> for a couple of weeks. You think Rune's beating him? I've gone Chapo. I've gone Rune. I'm cheering on Chapo. I oh, know. That's the first time for that one, I guess. Bowskova won the first set. Come on. Be cold, That's big, big for my bracket, Bowskova. I need her to do well. I've got to go in quite deep. Do you? Yeah, <laughs> what? a bit mad. I don't know. <laughs> it just transpired that Bowers Cove. Yeah, I think I had Borges going quite far as well. <laughs> I think no. he's gone out. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. Oh, I had I Quentin am. Howells going for a few as well. <laughs> <laughs> I had Quentin going through quite a few. in the French. 
Yeah, well, listen, if Nadal wins out. the whole thing, listen, <laughs> if I get a Nadal in a final, I'm gonna I'm gonna win the five hundred dollars. I don't think anyone's gone for that that combo. Probably not. I feel all the Rafa fans who have gone Rafa, the seventeen percent of you would have Sister Pass in the final with him. I think a lot of them do. Yeah. Who would you prefer, Sissa Pass or Sinner? Definitely Sinner. Okay. I think physically he's a bit fragile. So if he's got all the way to the final, he's going to be, I don't know, probably like a few broken bones or something. <laughs> Hopefully not. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sunburn. <laughs> sunburn. He's all killed over That's on the a... chair. <laughs> he gets the... <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. To wheel him out and just push him. the coach pushes him on God, <laughs> yeah Nick you can do it <laughs> he just falls into the clay like on his knees <laughs> he's just there with that back to 50 trying to <laughs> fly all over him I got lucky with one of my picks today I don't know how it happened but she was a set down <laughs> and then and then Ann Lee retired I was like oh <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Anne Lee was going to oh, put me to shame. So I had Van, Lee. <laughs> Van Oetbank through. <laughs> right. That wasn't even playing well. <laughs> Just made it through. Almost at 100 likes. If you haven't already, hit that Come like on. button and subscribe if you're new. 20 away. And Alcaraz, is he sensing the moment? It's love 15. He needs some second serves to look at. Oh, they're into a tie break now. Kokonakis Ramos. Looks no, like Karatsev could be broken. Listen, the return of the Alcaraz has actually been his worst part today. Yeah, I mean, they've been some. He's a good wild, returner, but he can't return today at all. Wild shots just going all over the place. Yeah. Karatsev, don't give him break point, mate. What are you doing? Is he actually going to do that? I don't know. I think so. Oh, it's a good serve from Londero. Massive forehand winner. What a shot that was. And Vekic, she takes it. She beats Bjorkland. She's done it. She's going <laughs> She's for it. it. Come on. She's winning the whole thing. Madlenovic just on a juice at the minute. She probably squeezed that one out to four love. Right. Well, well, well. 3015, Londero looks like he might be down and out. Oh, that's Did you do Ramos or Kokonakis in your bracket? Kokonakis. Oh, followed me. <laughs> it looks like that was the worst. That was the like... Oh, Alcaraz. Oh, no, sorry. Karatsev does hold 6 5. At the very least, we're going to be getting. Oh, no, it won't go tie break, will it? Or is it this year? How was it going in the fifth set? Of Ronald Garros, I forget now. I can't remember. I did do a news that... video on it. <laughs> <laughs> I did do a news video on it. Someone in the live chat, let us know what is the rules of this year's Ronald Garros. I mean, we are a tennis podcast. This is, don't really know this is almost the worst thing to ask. I, th I, th I thought I thought they're doing all tie breaks. Now. All slams, are tie breaks. I think that's what it is. Is it super tie break? To 10. I don't know. I think... I think it's just all tie break. Break point, Alcaraz. I reckon it'll be to 10. But I don't know. We'll have to oh, wait and God. see. Well, <laughs> Maybe Kratzef's not going to let us see one now, though. You just Jamie Sand, I think you reported tie breaks. <laughs> oh, cheers, Jamie. <laughs> I mean, a lot's happened since. Yeah, it's going to be super tie break. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers, bro. I mean, I don't know why Ben's laughing. It's like he he's the one who edited. So when I did that news <laughs> video, he watched through it and listened to every word I said and then posted it. Yeah, oh, you think I listened to it while I edit it? That's so you didn't listen to me? I, I sort of like a blur when I do those things. There's Juan Carlos Valero. Oh, all of this drama. We've just missed the most important thing in the match. Carlos Alcaraz, he's broken. He's leading here 4 2. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Vamos. It's like the battle of the 
the Kuds. Uh, the Kubler's taken another tie break against Kudler. Nice. That's one thing you need to do, Ben. I forgot to put it on your uh, your to-do mm. list. Mm. Carlos Alcaraz needs a new butter, needs some new images. Oh, okay, it was. <laughs> Just needs <laughs> some new... I mean, it, it's unrecognisable. I mean, he's got acne. He looks about 14 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Give him some respect. He's turned into like a, a real handsome chap. All right. Steady on. I think you're not really doing his doing him a service. Oh, mate. that's a massive forehand winner from Alcaraz down the line there. Sort of just turning it up now. Yeah, Tisha in. So in 10 point tie break, final set for all slams. I remember also the news video. I said how I'm disappointed they're doing that. Um because that's the same throughout all every single round. And I wanted the fifth set to be where it just continues, keeps going. Yeah, in the final. I want a fifth set of a final just to continue to keep going until someone collapses. Yeah. I don't I'm I not did. I'm not I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> Quite like no, not obviously not collapse. I mean just keep going to the very end. Like you push your body. See it's like an endurance battle. I want to yeah. see that in a, in a in a final definitely. Yeah, definitely. I do I do agree on that. I will miss those big long matches, the Isner yeah. Mahuts, but I guess it is what it is. It sort of disrupts the whole tournament when you have those ones. It sort of I mean, ruins. Listen, it. we've never been. Imagine <clears throat> if we were doing a watch along which turned into a Isner Mahut. Oh, How would boy. it happen? Would we? Would we end it early? Well, they they finish it for the day, don't they? And then you so start we'll just the next go day. to the day. Then, start yeah, then you start the next day. Yeah. What, so would, you... keep the, would we keep the stream on overnight and just have stream starting soon? Go to sleep, yeah. then wake yeah. up. Play suspended due to light. <laughs> what would you leave it running? Surely not. No, I think you have to do a second one, part two. You have to do a part two on a stream. No, a bit sad be nice to leave it running maybe just stay on the stream and just keep talking about everything tennis exactly Faison. you're right man they wouldn't have seen the greatest final ever to have been played if they did these rules earlier so i agree completely with what you're saying for a final we need to see the special moments man and they've taken yeah. that away from me and i'm disappointed and the news video is all coming back to me now i remember everything i said in it <laughs> Brilliant. like yesterday i did it <laughs> I don't even remember when you did do it. How long ago was it? Did you watch my one the other day about Wimbledon? No oh, point. That was a, oh, that was a corker, that one. My favourite one you did was Boris Becker. <laughs> um, I have no idea. When it, I don't like talking about law stuff. Like I, I'm terrible at it. I thought you did Trying to get all the terms though. right. Remember the old affidavit thing that we had during the trial? <laughs> yeah, I, could, I had to get John Silk to read it out for me. <laughs> Felt like I was in school. It was a nightmare. I don't like all these terms, all of these sections, all of these. It's not for me. Oh, great return there from Londero. Oh, scared. Yeah, got him on the run. I had Kalaz here trying to consolidate the break. We got five two up. Can Londero break straight back? It's threatening. If he does hold here, so no. Say Alcaraz takes his second set. Is it done? Or are we looking at a Londero comeback, Ben? Five set thriller. I can't really see him coming back. No, I think he needed to do it from the front, didn't he? Yeah, Londero he needs today. to be, Yeah, like two sets up and then we'll yeah. see if it goes five. I feel like Alcaraz is surely just going to get a bit better. you got to yeah. remember he hasn't played tennis for a week. Yeah, that's another point, actually. I didn't think of that. For someone who plays so much as he has this year, having a week off can be a bit unsettling. I mean, look at Iga. She's only breadsticking people now, not bageling. Ugh, terrible. Boring. She's really falling off. I mean, she even served off a swan the other day. I mean, she's falling off big time. Yeah, I might stop watching her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I think Mugurus is going to be world number one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the best school. The best school ever. It's worse than Ken in that one. It's not. It's still, it still isn't. I mean, Ken, in, you can't trump it. Well, still finished above your world number one that year, so that's all that matters to me. Are you had a that, saga? Ben? What's that for Alcaraz? It's a consolidation.
Dun, ding, oh, massive dong. tie break coming up. Ugo Carabelli, two love up in the tie oh, break in the fifth set against Aslan Karatsev. He was 5 2 up in the match in the fifth, and he's bottling it big time. The lion headed out of Roland Garros. How many times have you seen in those uh, final set tie breaks when the players think it's to seven and <laughs> they don't realize <laughs> that it's to ten? It has happened for sure. Come on, the Sabata Morales, just just get this done. Some drawing it out. I think Mo's taking this set. I have a feeling. Nah, he's not at home on the clay. He doesn't know yeah, he's like a fish Mo. out of water. Mo likes it. He's sliding Mo. around. I might stick him on it anyway. We fall over. He tries to slide. Oh, oh. Kokinakis. He's out. Oh. Kokinakis oh. is out of Roland Garros. Albert Ramos Finolas. Takes Should've it pretty well. Should have known. Aslan Karatsev back on serve in the tie break. 2 <laughs> 1. And Leila Fernandez Gazlan, managed to win two games in that second set. And Madlenovic falling apart now, it seems. On Bowles Cover. Oh, it looks like this. It's going to win on a break. You reckon? Yeah, I've to got serve first in the third. Yeah, I feel he's got that feeling. I feel like he wants it. He just wants to serve right, first. We've got no top tippers. It just looks too empty there. If anyone wants to support the channel for as little as one cent or even one dollar, whatever you want, we'll one put dollar. your name on the top tippers. You can use the support link, which I'm going to put in the live chat, or just through YouTube, whatever way you want to, and we'll put your name on the top tipper leaderboard. There will be prizes for people on the leaderboard come the end of Roland Garros. Come the end of the year as well. Yeah. In the Hall of Fame with some big names. There are some big names in that Hall of Fame. Some of them have been etched off the Hall of Fame. So... <laughs> <laughs> we got rid of some. Oh, inside that forehand there from Londero. It's hitting it fairly central right now, though. Alcaraz Gives a little bit of extra pace on that backhand. It's one of his favourite shots. Forehand to Ooh, forehand. Point, mate. Yeah, it's a good one, this. Nearly long from Oh, it worked. That's a clever yeah. shot from Alcraz. Comes in, drive volley, loves Bang. it. Big, big shot. Carlito, let's go, Charlie. Two points away. Charlie. Have any beers today? All right, off the beers. No, off the beers today. Have a little break. <laughs> quality shots in <laughs> this, is for, this is for Pfizer <laughs> I'm joking <laughs> appreciate that quality shot cheers man appreciate that we'll stick you on there <laughs> well, we're going to have to donate to yours now because I'm going to feel bad yeah for sure we'll have to go one better as well do £10 Ben can pay I'll use the joint card <laughs> No, we'll just deduct it from the Silk Report earnings. <laughs> <laughs> That's deductible. <laughs> Here we go. Two set points. Misses down the tee. Second serve. Adkaraz gets it. We're into the point. Ooh. Londero going big forehands, goes into the net, ah. and Carlos Alcaraz takes the second set, 6-2. And like Ben predicted, he ends with a break. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Just like that, second set over and done with. One hour, 19. Uh, third set coming up. It looks like Alcaraz is going to get the job done in three. He's not performed that great. He's getting better as the match has gone on, certainly. And looking at the scoreline, I mean, this one could even be better yet again. Are we looking at a breadstick or a bagel? Uh, quite possibly. Um I'm just glad he's sort of started to feed himself and playing some better, more competitive tennis. Whereas at the start, he was just reliant on a Londero era and got fortunate really at the business end. Uh, but having a look at the other courts, there is a massive five-set thriller happening as we speak. 
Ugo Karabelli, 5-3 up in the fifth set against Aslan Karatsev. And, well, it could be another early exit for Aslan. He's just, he's not the same player we know and love, that's for sure. I'd love to see him find a way to come back. And it's not impossible, but he's he's just make it, made a bit of a mountain of it. He was 5-2 up, now gone tiebreak. Now he's trailing in the tiebreak. We have Mladenovic up a break against Fernandez. Fernandez not been able to break that one all the way back. Just got one break back. Zabata Morales on serve in the third. Uh, Kudla up a break against Kubla in the in the third set. So that one maybe could be going longer than three. Oh, Ugo Carabelli, 6-3. Gets another point on the Aslan serve. He's just, he's going to lose, isn't he? What a shame. What a shame. Uh, quality shots and magic. Ben's gone. He'll be back. Don't worry. Uh, and 707 Lazio. I was about to say that, JJ. Say what? What did I say? I'm not sure what you're talking about. We've got Lexi. How are we doing, Lexi? Sent upset. Uh, are done for the day. Oh, upsets are done for the day. Yeah, <laughs> most likely. I can't see any more upsets. I mean, the only upset that could happen is Mladenovic knocking out Fernandez. I, I would classify that as an upset. Oh, bloody Karatsev. What's he doing? He's done, mate. 7 it's 3 now. So bad, man. It's just terrible. It's a shame. What's happened to him? Anchors ask, when was the last time Aslan won a match? He won a tournament of 500 this year. so but He's not been winning recently, has he? Anything? He beat Lloyd Harris in Rome. There you go. But he's on a. He's only won two of his last... Oh, my word. One, two, three. Four, two of his last 11 matches he's won. Really? Gosh. Three, three of his last 15. A lot worse than I even thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here comes Michael Moe. Three break points. Come on, Big oh. Mike. Get off, Mike. Get go Come on, on, Mikey boy. Go back to America. Come on, Mikey boy. Oh, Aslan pulls back a break. Seven Fiddler four. as well doing well right now. Maybe the Americans are in sync right now. Third set underway. Alcaraz serving first because he got the break again at the end. And it's 30-15. Lexi saying hopefully Layla does stay longer. I hope so as well. And hopefully we can get to 100 likes. We need 13 more on the video. Come if you on. haven't already, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. We've got an incredible day tomorrow. I mean, for day two of Ronald Garros, it doesn't get much better. I know apologies for not covering more today, uh, but we did cover this one, Carlos Alcaraz. Tomorrow, we're good. we've got about four or five for you. Don't worry. <clears throat> yeah, a lot. It's a busy day. I'm going to be exhausted tomorrow. I can just tell. Yeah. But That's I'm actually pretty... really excited for it as well. And then we'll have another silk report probably in the evening. Gosh, that'll be fun. <laughs> have you made the silk report? I think we've got I'm... time, to be fair. Yeah, I think we got... We He's got doing it at 11. 11. We've got, we've got I mean... three hours for the silk report, so make sure you tune into the first one. Oh, can't be missed. Going to get a new intro for it as well. It's prime time. Yeah, I'll try and add that little thing on. Wee. Whoa! Was it? Not many people there, is there? Nah, it's first day, mate. I don't still, really know. First day. I'd still want to be the first day. Yeah, Exciting. You. Get to see all my qualifiers to watch go out. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> be there to see them all. Wouldn't see him otherwise. Eight five. What well, has Aslan got up his sleeve here? He's two points no. away from going out. Bloody mo! Here comes Michael Mo. Bows Cover, come on. She's doing it. Nice backhand cross court there from Alcaraz. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Running round that backhand again. Proves costly. Lexan, I thought you'd be starting early today. Yeah. Uh, Problem yeah. is that yesterday was a bit of a mess. Finished up drinking. Late. Yeah, it was like it was JG's birthday celebrations. So yeah. uh, they don't know what time. I think I ended up getting home at about three or four or something in the morning. Yeah. wasn't really planned either. It was like a surprise celebration. <laughs> <laughs> so it's even more like I didn't. That's why I've been telling you all I'm doing it early because I thought I was. Match point, Ugo Carabelli. 
Nine five. Oh, yeah, he's definitely. He's not going to lose all of them, is he? It's too many. <laughs> yeah. I can't see Karatsev saving four match points. Could serve out wide there from Londero. Ooh, good inside out forehand. Looks like... Oh, how's he? Some of those that look like they're going out, they loop yeah, in on just, the baseline. Just about, out. yeah. Some good shots from him. And there it is. Aslan Karatsev out oh, no. of Paris. He's gone. He's heading home. That's terrible. No Roland Garros title for Aslan this year. How it's much hard did we have him going through? I think I had him going through one round. That was I it. I think anyway. I only had one as well. I wasn't sure who the qualifier would be. Quality shots. And I like the intro where you guys showing your tennis skills on the red dirt. Roland Garros 2023 incoming. Yeah. Maybe. Definitely. Get I might enter. Into the ITFs first. Move his way up through to the challengers and then potentially into who knows Roland Garros 2023. Me and Ben are going to enter the doubles. <laughs> that, that, that would be fun. I mean, I might do mixed doubles with Kratikova, then I'm definitely going to win. Well, she can just take, take it to the title. Maybe take Sinyakova. She's got less of a dodgy elbow, I think. Maybe go with John Isner <laughs> instead of me. Schwartzman. Yeah, Schwartzman. Did you see Schwartzman and Isner playing very yeah. well together? I know. Very good. Seems like a weird partnership, but I like it. SHM I would like to... And Ben's would... too old to compete. <laughs> yeah, I think so. You might be right. <laughs> well, age is just a number. I mean, is he as old as, say, Novak Djokovic? I don't think so. Am I not? Very similar. Yeah. I think I'm similar to Rafa and Djokovic. So. <laughs> I'm going to clip that. Well, I'm similar to them. <laughs> not in a, uh, not in my... Uh, so in what ways are you similar to Rafa and Djokovic, Ben? <laughs> Only age. <laughs> Nothing more. And gender. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Nothing more. Right, Londero under the cosh early on. You got a yeah, feeling he's... this one could be a that's another six two or something. Oh, he's looped he it up. In? Yeah, he has in. good shot, Alcaraz. Resets the rally. I want him to win this point now. Yes, he does. Come on, Alcaraz. He deserved that. Brilliant defense. Nice little lob, just looping it back in play. And he gets a break point to start the third set, looking for a very straightforward three set victory. Got Gary in saying, Gosh, I've been waiting a hundred days for a silk report. Water for a thirsty man in the desert. Lovely Don. <laughs> there you go. I can't wait for it as well. I mean, I'm really looking forward to some of the opening lines. Hopefully, it's not like the, the last one of the last silk report. The silence <laughs> one. <laughs> Hopefully, his laptop's okay. This time. No, what's the, what's the one where he goes silent and he says, Did he win today? Oh, Chilich. Did you win today? Yeah, we, we did. But they're audio listeners. We had audio listeners on Spotify. <laughs> they didn't know what was happening. They just thought the stream wasn't working. <laughs> oh, what a winner there to break. Alcaraz Passes does in. break with the passing shot. Let's go, Charlie. Vamos, Carlos Vamos. I was I was thinking, wasn't that a, a big thing though in Paris, Charlie? Wasn't it like Je suis Charlie? That was like the when they had that attack, wasn't it? Yeah. Maybe was, steer uh... steer clear of Charlie in Paris, I think. Maybe just go with Carlos. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I, I think do remember like, that. It's a bit of a trigger word, I feel, over yeah. in Paris. Maybe. Trust yeah, you to bring be... some light to the stream. Uh... <laughs> you know me. <laughs> Wait, Love a... uh, Carlos Alcaraz, after breaking the third, Ben's talking about some very negative terror attack. <laughs> terror attack. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. Conspiracy. I am a legend saying, JG, afraid of Carlos. He's coming for Rafa. Yeah, I'm a little afraid of him, but I do would love to see him get to the semis. And then bow out to the king, of course. Zabata's come back in the in the third. That's good to see. 
Madlenovic, two points away from taking that second set against Leila Annie Fernandez. Yeah, I just want to remind you guys as well. I know there's a lot of people struggling to watch these matches. Um, I'm not sure if this one's on there, but I do highly recommend joining our Discord chat. We've got over 2,000 members in there. Uh, me and Ben chatting there as well. And yeah, it'll be great to see you in there. If you want to talk tennis 24-7, some cool channels. I'll put the link in the live chat and you can also watch live tennis matches in there as well. So highly recommend joining that, the GTL Discord. Yeah, definitely do join the GTL Discord. No, We never really play. promote that anymore, but I feel like we should from time to time, if you remember. Yeah, I know. It's a bit strange. Like We were at one point pushing it so hard, more than anything that we were pushing on the channel. Now we need to get back to it because... We've been we pushing other things. Cycles, yeah. I know. We've got a peak tennis now, and this is the thing that, well, everybody should really download. If you play tennis, download yeah, it's a good opportunity, tennis. though, with a, with a trial, just to get to grips with it. And if it's not for you, it's not for you. But I think a lot of people who play tennis, who watch us, it will help your game, certainly. And plus, it's well cheap as well. Like, if, if you think, if you're playing, like, on a regular, and you're in, like, a little tennis club, or there's someone in the tennis club that you just can't beat, and that, that will help you get with Londero hitting it so hard right now. This is mad. Yeah, he misses that. Oh, line. wow. Well, what play? Defensive play Come on, Alcaraz. Ramos in all over the place. 40 30. Apparently, they are watching the match in the Discord. Oh, so you can oh, go okay. watch it there if you want to see it. There you go. Free look. to join. GT. I think we just lost 30 people because of that. Nice one. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nice one. <laughs> I think probably people feel that this match is may already be over as well. Yeah. That's the way it goes sometimes. So it looks like Ons Jabur will be the uh the face on the silk report today. Doesn't it? Like Maybe with gonna... Mugurusa as well. Or do you I think we only have one face, nah, don't we, on the silk? Nah, just one normally. Like Could I feel be in the that... title. We'll put Mugger in the title. I feel that she's not even that much of a shock, really, though. I feel like the Ons de Boer one is like a big shock. Like the Mugalutsa one for me, it was always like Kai Kanepi can do that to a lot of people. Well, let's have a look at odds. So odds wise, the biggest shock. Sixes was Lynette. So six. And then you've got the next one was Greek Spore at fours. But that's not, that just seems like too good of a, too good value now. I know. Well, I thought Bedeni 3.75 is the other one. Mr. Trick. I mean, Delhi at 1.8 as well was pretty easy. <laughs> I know, come on. I mean, that one, I took a punt on team, but I didn't really believe in it. Oh, we've got Beat the Odds starting tomorrow as well. Definitely. Make sure if you if you like picking some good, interesting picks in tennis and you think that you can outsmart me and JG with some interesting picks, like you, you, you say, oh, I picked Re-Explore. You guys didn't. Well, come join Beat the Odds and you can see if you can beat me and JG on a daily basis over the course of a week and we'll see how many out of 10 you get in these Roland Garros picks. Yep. And that is, I believe, is that consolidation as well? It was. <laughs> Here it goes. Total control. I did say, Ben, when you headed off, that I think this one's going to be a 6-1. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's looking good value for it at the moment. Second it serve, is. Londero. Alcala steps in, backhand, but then retreats. I'm sure maybe come in, go for the volley. The rallies have been still high level, though, from both players, but yeah. it just seems that Alcaraz is now, his recovery skills have got a lot better. Edgar saying, JG wanted to know my brackets. I'm top of both global brackets. Only loss in the WTA was a retirement and she was winning. Anley. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Van Hootbank. <laughs> Saw it coming. Anley with a dodgy knee. I don't know if it's a dodgy knee. It just rhymes. Anley, she wasn't for me. She had a dodgy knee. Oh, Pigeon just flew past the camera then. Oh, he's peppering the back end. Goes to the forehand side. Alcaraz on the run. So good. Oh, my word. Phenomenal. He's warming up now. He's opened up. And that's yeah. a great shot. And um, he's winning the whole thing, isn't he, Ben? I mean, look how good he is here. 
How can he not? How can you not win it with shots like that? Look at Londero. Just <laughs> baffled. So what am I supposed to do there? Nothing. Just watched it. Well, it's when you oh, realize... apparently she swallowed a bee. <laughs> At least one of the bee. That sounds like a nursery Sounds like a rhyme. rhyme. Do you... <laughs> Do you remember Anne Lee? She uh, swallowed Lee, a she bee. Swallowed a bee. <laughs> <laughs> that At least tell me she didn't actually swallow a no, bee. No, I think it just rhymes. That's the only reason that we've got this suggestion. Or she got she got a small fee for dropping Anne out. Lee, she fell out a tree. Oh. Is that why she went she out? She's doing it in a tree, though. <laughs> That's the question. I, I, I thought she got handed a little, little fee for... Dropping out. Don't you agree? CC. Or is that just me? Wee oui, wee, oui, I should say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like it. Bit of French in there. <laughs> Expanding. GTL always. Uh... <laughs> I said C and I was like, oh, what about we? Oui? That's what I'm just <laughs> <laughs> really pushing the boundaries here on GTL. Well, my Spanish look. Later. Un <laughs> <laughs> That's it, mate. I've got one of them. I never forget that. Man. I know. <laughs> mate. What happened? That is the highlight of uh, Zagreb for me. Uh, how could I get the word for beer wrong in Spanish? That's like <laughs> the most basic word. <laughs> It's just ridiculous. You were telling someone, oh, I speak a bit of Spanish. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, no, I'll never break no. bread for alcohol. Terrible. It's literally the worst thing ever. It's, the that is a grab. it's just like, like what oh, I this is it. the whole oh. crowd grow. They wanted another break. They want to see Londero just completely wrecked here. Shame. <laughs> I'm having a beer at the moment. <laughs> oh, here comes Fernandez. She's back. It's five all. Wow. Five all. That's Let's go, mad. Layla. Madlenovic. Ah, oh, Kudler's let Kubla come back into that third set. It's like they're going to tie break again. Oh, we're one like away from 100 as well. If you haven't already, Come hit the on. like button and subscribe if you're new. Surely we're going to get there any second now. If we don't, I'm not doing any streams tomorrow. Yeah, if we don't get to 100, I'm going to quit the podcast with immediate effect. I'm just going to cancel the channel, delete all the videos. There we go. 102. Cheers, guys. <laughs> I'm a legend saying the bagel's coming. Let's see if he can break here. Big forehand, Londero. It's an unreturnable no, great shot down the line. Clean winner. Saves the break point. Juice. Yeah, Madlenovic is sort of having her third set within the second set, I feel, at the moment. She was up <laughs> winning convincingly, and now she's, she's gone. a little for... early. <laughs> convincing run of games yeah, I have a feeling Michael Moe is going to be on for a very long time no it's going to be on in two hours time you can watch it with your dinner mate tonight when watch Michael Moe sliding around oh here we go two break nice. points for the oh, big Mike not big Mike go five. away big Mike Mike's get out five. Kubler now is going to break though that's a bit mad good shot good shot Alcaraz gets yeah. another break point just finish Kubler. him off already. Kubler, another player from Zagreb. <laughs> that was yeah. uh, playing well. They're doing quite well, aren't they? <laughs> Should have stuck to the Zagreb players. Well, O'Connell, he went out. There was no Jamino Valero in this draw. A bit disappointed in that. Yeah. Not quite there yet. No, maybe next like, year. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I think he will be. Yeah, I think so. Just needs to improve his serve, I feel. Just too many yeah, double faults. Lessons. There you go. Got to show him the pancake. Sure. <laughs> he needs to learn the pancake. At the moment, he's... Did... This is probably the longest game of the whole match, actually. Six minutes. I can't yeah. recall another long juice. Come on, Zabata. Save two break points. Oh, great hitting, but... Carlos just seems to be able to keep the ball in the court. 
Oh, the drop shot from Londero. Alcaraz is in. Answers it. Goes down the line. Can he pass? Oh, it's the little volley. Can he pass him? I think it's wide. I think it is wide. I don't know why yeah. the crowd are all cheering. I don't know why they do They're that. They're all they celebrating always... as if... They almost tricked me to celebrate. And then I realised yeah, it. They always do that. Out. It's annoying. I feel like they I would cheer. Better, though. What's it doing? Oh, I don't know, actually. No, I feel, I feel like Just your first initial thought much. is right. Yeah, it's out. Definitely yeah. out. Advantage Londero. Crowd get it all wrong. Jared saying, let's say Alcaraz is relatively healthy till 25. Will he surpass the big 35. three major total? Really? 35. Yeah. I thought, did I not say 35? No, he said 25. Oh, 35. Will he surpass the big three major total? I'm not so sure. I feel like it's a, such a big ass. Alcaraz <laughs> can't get to sort of 20 odd slams. I'm not sure. It just depends who his competitors are, to be honest. Well, I just have feel this year, isn't he? He's going to win this one. I just, it's just one of these crazy things that I'm not sure if we're ever going to see anyone like those, those players again. No, <laughs> That's hard, part of me hard. that thinks that. <laughs> I don't really know either what to what like, to think. I don't, I don't think anybody really realizes how good all of those three players that we've seen win that many slams are. Like they're. Just a ridiculous level. Oh, Michael Mo broke. Oh. Come on. Come on, Big Mike. Oh, Mo. I've actually got it doing? in my bracket as well, Michael Mo. What? You went against the battle yeah. of Morales. You're <laughs> such a little rat. I can't believe him. What were you thinking? He's going to do it in five. I told you. You're just trying to dig me Apparently, out. Apparently, Kathy's saying Layla's on fire. Cheers, Kathy, for the update. Oh, it's good that she turned it around in that uh, second set, that's for sure. Oh, this one's still going. What's it now? Eight minutes. Could be looking at a 10-minute game here. Fair play to Londero. He's not giving up, is he? No. Just working out how to use the serve. Oh, what a great forehand. Hey, so good, actually, yeah. from Londero. Fair play. I would give him the button, but we don't have one for him. No. Nope. I was talking about making one. JG was like, don't you dare make him a bum. How dare you? I mean, we may never cover him again, Ben. Yeah, it's true. Some people. It's better to do the buttons for the younger players who we know is going to be around for a bit. True. That's why we definitely need new Alcaraz, but like new images. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you do that tonight for me? Yeah. Cheers. Along with the promo. The, yeah. the two promos, ideally. Yeah, 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 don't worry, mate. How many have you done two promos or I was thinking that it's probably gonna be easier to do like two short promos than it will be to just do just what the trouble is with the women's one though, is there's this I'm just gonna do an eager promo. I'm not gonna do it like and there's no one else is worth <laughs> doing in the promo. <laughs> Put a soccer in there. It's literally just gonna be an eager highlight reel, and then they're just gonna be <laughs> can anyone beat her? <laughs> then, yeah, that's, then... that's fine. I mean that pretty much is the narrative. Yeah, exactly. So that's all I'm going to do for the women's one, I think. Just literally eager hitting winners and then just a... No, but can you not get some little little Sarkari. sound bites from players talking about eager? I don't know. The ones you sent me were I terrible. Sent you a, no, the Radu Khan was speaking about no, It was terrible, all those ones you sent me. No, one of them even had music playing in the background. I was like, I can't use that. <laughs> <laughs> so I got music all over the top of it. <laughs> I've right, not watched all of them. Some of them are quite good. Yeah, I did. I watched them all. They were just like, oh, he's missed it. Yeah, he has. And that is it. It's another break. Focalito. Vamos. Carlos Alcalas. Uno, dos, tres. Vamos. Vamos. Carlos Alcalas. Vamos. Interesting question from Jared. Who's the lowest ranked player active you have a button for? That's very interesting. I don't Tatiana have them Maria. listed via Tatiana Maria. Did Cool Patch have one? I think so. I can't, can't remember. Did I do a button? I don't think I did. I think you do. No, I don't think I did a Cool Patch button. 
Talon the Greeks, Greeks ball. Talon Greeks no. ball. Well, that's probably quite Greeks. high. I mean, that's uh, probably yeah. lower. I can't that's think what of I mean. That, that's what I mean. Like some of them, Gabriella Ruza. Nick Kyrgios, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Andy Murray. Yeah. Yeah, believe it or not, I don't update their ranking on the button uh, as I'd go. So, oh, Leila and Fernandez, two points away. Come on, Leila. Yeah, two match or oh. well, one match or oh, two match points. Sorry. Oh, Gary Ben, where is the new Novak button? All right, relax, mate. I, that's another thing I've got to try and do. Remember, oh, I've done to... that. No, I didn't finish, but I remember I was on the plane. It, though. Yeah, it's it's I've pretty seen much it. there. I, looks I need to, to add. Do, do you want lyrics though? Yeah, we want Nole, 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 Nole. I was no thinking of a new one me. actually. I was thinking of a new one. Oh, uh, Nole, Ole, Ole, Ole. No, Nole. It was different to all of those nole. ones, but I thought you'd like it as well. But Nole, 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 Nole. nole. <laughs> 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 I thought that one could go quite well. Do we'll we have a Tomic? I don't think we do, no. Nah, get him out of there. Do we have a Torich one? No. Or with Ranka? Ranka. We definitely have, we no, don't have a Ranka, no. No, he's too old. <laughs> Didn't make the cut Takes off. one to no one, eh? JG wouldn't allow it. <laughs> I tried to put it in into the meeting notes. He was like, no, that's scrapped. Get that man out. Who are these old players you're talking about? Pavrinka, never heard of him. Get him out. <laughs> <laughs> and Fernandez has wrapped it up. Seven come five. On. What a yes, comeback. Go. Well Layla. done, Layla. Adkalaz here, 40 15, going for a five love. Oh, the Mo. No, no, Mo. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can watch it while you're eating oh, dinner, Mo. mate. It's going oh, five. Mo. Oh, Mo, he didn't. Oh, what a return. Oh! It's oh past him. <laughs> Shot of the bat. Vamos, Carlos Alcalas. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcalas. Vamos. Was... We've got Jared Jam. and how high of a tip <laughs> would it take to post a compilation of all the butters? I mean, we are slowly posting some here and there. So when a player retires, we post it. So we've got Del Potro, Ashley Barty. And is That's there another one? So that was it so far. I was going to do Kyrgios, wasn't I? And then I realized that I spelled his name wrong on the thing that I was about to post. So I couldn't post it. And then I yeah, missed so the we're doing, we're doing, We've just done them two so far. But Shame on me. if you do do if you do tip, we'll get put it put one in there. Yeah, you've got a specific we'll put, one, but it needs to be we'll, a good button. Maybe I'll pop on Jabur in there after today. <laughs> no, if you won, Roland Garros would do it. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll post Eager. Eager. If Eager wins, Roland Garros will post Eager. But Eager's one so short though. It needs yeah. to. They need to be like thirty seconds. Bulk it up. Yeah, I need to add another verse. Eager, gonna beat you. I think the buttons need to be. In, I don't know. I feel like we need just more buttons, Ben. You've been Tell slacking with the creativity of buttons recently. That, that's your top job title at Game to Love. You've not been doing enough. No, you should see how much, how many things I've made. That's the thing. Dondero's given up, man. Double I've created, fault. created this whole massive base of buttons. Now to upgrade them all once more takes time. We'll get there. It's just bagel. everything. Bagel. Where's the bagel button? I know. We don't bagel. have one. They're so bagel. rare. Although with eager streams, you should definitely make one. We need one soon, man. A little bit of bit of The trouble is I can't find bagel. a good graphic. I've tried to make one, but the graphics to try and find for it. I would want to get some animated bagels. That was the thing. And I can't really find them anywhere for free. I'll just buy one, Ben. What, just buy a bagel? Buy a bagel. Maybe I'll film it myself. I'll get a green screen up, just roll a bagel past it. There you go. <laughs> Be creative. I could do that. See, there you go. I've already thought of an idea. Or... Oh, I went back the same way. Massive forehand, though. Is it definitely out? out? 
think so. It's pretty Too big. Powerful. Oh, they're they're going to check those. the mark. They're going to check the it mark. Seems close. It was out. And that is going to be three match points for Carlito. Match point. No, it's not. I think it was Alcaraz who missed the shot. Not Apologies. It was, it's not a match point. Did you think it was match point as well? No, I was going to. You made me question myself because I oh, saw you Alcaraz. you thought it was for a bit, for a second. You because you was. said it. I was like, I swear it was Alcaraz just missed the shot. But yeah, then... apologies. It was Alcraz who missed it. Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll press it now because now we definitely do there have a match point. <laughs> match point. Maybe I was just too quick with it. One hour fifty on the clock. Felt six coming. four, six two, five <laughs> love. Are we gonna see the Carlito Bagel? The Charlie Bagel in Paris. Alcar steps in a little bit. Up? Backhand. Warm... It's long. It's long. It's long. Carlos Alcaraz has done it. He's bageled Londero in the third set. And he takes this one rather easily in the end. Uh, six four, six two, six love. And if I'm honest, Easy. didn't actually play great until sort of the second set. First set was pretty poor, but still yeah. was just good enough. I mean, this is what the best players do. Carlos Alcaraz is now considered a favourite for Ronald Garros, which is pretty incredible. And this was the perfect start for him, I guess. Slow start, got going, got better. Yeah. And the way he ended in the third set, he looks back to Dominant. his very best, like we saw in Madrid. Yes, dominant uh, in that third set. And I think the main thing there is his recovery skills and his returning improved dramatically yeah. as the match went on. Uh, I think it's fair enough. We'd always forgive people like Djokovic, Nadal, people like that for losing even a set if they were to lose yeah. like in the first round because lack of match play. I think I'd do the same for him. I think yeah. he looks looked good by the end. Yeah, me too. Well, anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for letting us or helping us get to 100 likes. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. We'll see you tomorrow for a Monster Monday on Game to Love. <laughs> Uh, so many matches. We're talking Djokovic. We're talking the Dow. We're talking Eager. We're talking Raducanu. And of course, the big one, I'm not even mentioned, Nozkova. Uh, you can't miss it. Make sure you're going to be joining us. We'll see you then. Well done. Uh, well done to Carlito, though. Great match from him. And Londera's heading out. Vamos. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Vamos. Vamos. Carlos Alcalá. Uno, dos, tres, vamos, vamos.